Hello, Earth Signs, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is Dee, and I hope you're doing well. Welcome, and or welcome back to my channel. To my current and new subscribers, thank you for your support, as it is greatly appreciated. And if you're browsing YouTube and you've come across my channel, it's not by coincidence, this is a divine connection. So go ahead and press that subscribe button and join us here, because I would love to have you. Also, I invite you to join me on Instagram at your following D2. So, Earth Signs, this is a general reading for you, which comes to you from the Heart and Soul Oracle Card Deck. Now, the message may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. God Most High, Angel Spirit, Guys, Peace, so Love, and Light, the Holy Spirit, but it's a divine guidance and encouragement for the Earth Signs. That's for their well being. This is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. You. So this is your card front image and I feel like based on this image that you're being encouraged to connect with nature, spend time in prayer and or meditation as well as ensure that you are getting your proper rest. Make time to rest, to rejuvenate, to regain your, your energy level so you can feel vibrant and ready to go. So prayer, meditation, and rest. Okay, so earth signs. Allow your imagination to drift beyond the horizon. Beyond time, there is a world of dreams without limits, full, full of magical ideas, a world just waiting for you. But this far away world is not so far. It is inside your heart. And all it takes to get there is to dream. So you're being encouraged to use your imagination to dream, to dream big and to allow yourself to connect with the spiritual world even more, right? And as you do, I feel like you're being encouraged to allow your imagination to run wild. There is nothing that you can't have if you can if you can imagine it you can have it i was getting a little ahead of myself so yeah if you can imagine it you can have it if you cannot imagine it you won't have it so allow your dreams to gain momentum meaning your desires your goals your aspirations to gain momentum, dream big, and trust that you are divinely guided and that everything will completely align for you. I feel like having that time in prayer and meditation and getting rest will help you to stay in complete alignment with God, Creator, Source, Most High, the Universe. It will help you to uh, continue to be um, stable, grounded, and you'll have complete clarity. Like your thoughts won't be cloudy. Your judgment won't be cloudy. But it does require that you invest some time in prayer and meditation and to get the proper rest. And so getting the proper rest can be simply taking a nap, going to bed early, um, et cetera, et cetera. Prayer and meditation, however that looks for you. You wanna pray and meditate um, by sitting, lying down, walking. There are countless ways that you can meditate. You don't have to use any one particular method. I feel like it's important to allow yourself to be divinely led as to how you should engage in these practices. 
So trust the divine guidance you receive. It's going to lead you in the right direction. So again, earth signs, allow your imagination to drift beyond the horizon. You remember when you were like a very young youth or a very young child and your imagination was just free? Allow yourself to tap back into that inner child and let your imagination run wild. So, you know, when we're very young, we just allow our imagination just to exceed what someone may think that we're able to accomplish. Like, if you think about it, as a child, you share some of the things that you imagine with someone, whether it's another child or an adult, and they may have said or they may say, oh, that's impossible, or oh, that's a really far out um, thought that you had. But the point is, they may not be able to see it, but you can. That's what's important, that you can see it. You can have that imagination like you did as a child, like a young child. Let it run wild. There is no limit on what you can accomplish. There is no limit as it relates to resources. God, creator, source, most, most high, the universe is limitless. Resources are limitless. So the key is to allow your imagination to drift. Don't put any restrictions on it. Just let it go. Allow it to be free, just as you would as a very young child. And if you recall, you had no fear. Like I can remember like being a very young, young child and just not having any fear about doing anything and i feel like that's the approach that's necessary at this time don't have any fear about what it is that you really want to manifest in your life don't fear not having enough time or enough money or enough resources once you take the action to allow your imagination to be free you will see that everything will start to unfold and align completely for you because it is for your well-being. And you'll thank yourself later. So I feel like it's important just to tap in to your inner child and allow that imagination to just drift. And write down what comes up for you that will help you as you move forward to work towards whatever goal desire or desire that you have so jot it down as these ideas come to you just jot them down you know if it comes in a story form uh, format rather i feel like some of you that's how it will come to you just write it down just like you got it so however it comes to you, just script it down as it comes. And then you can go back and look at it and take from it what actually is aligning for you. Like put it in some sort of order or a plan in other words. So write down whatever's coming to you and then go back and then extract from it the information that you can put into a plan to execute. All right. And so beyond, beyond time, there is a world of dreams without limits, full of magical ideas, a world just waiting for you, earth signs, waiting for you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but this faraway world is not so far. It is inside your heart. And all it takes to get there 
is a dream. Dream big. All right. So I hope this has been helpful for you. If you haven't already done so, please press the subscribe button and join us here because I would love to have you. Also, leave me a comment and give this uh, message a thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, I look forward to connecting with you on the next time. I don't take this connection for granted. Again, I appreciate you and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.